Hey guys, it's me Pawan Dagal and in this system I tutorial you are going to learn how you can add your own custom domain from Namecheap to system IO. It is extremely simple to do that. I'll also show you how you can add this kind of fab icon in this video. Uh, but before starting video, let me show you a quick bonus. If you haven't signed up to system IO, you can use my referral link that is in the description of this video and you will be able to get full access to the system IO full course where you can learn each and everything that you need to know and do inside system IO. I have shown you each and everything in a step by step process from buying a domain to creating funnels to email marketing automation build, building opt-in pages membership site each and everything in a step by step process in this course so you can simply get access to this full course by using my referral link that is in the description of this video similarly just by using that referral link you will immediately get all of these uh, policy pages which you can edit and reuse on your opt-in page landing page sales page wherever you want to use it for lifelong now without doing any delay let's start let's get started and add a custom domain to our system io account so to add a custom domain firstly let's visit to our namecheap account and firstly you need to buy a domain so in our case this is the domain that we are going to add this is healthy living tips dot pro let's copy this now you can simply click on add domain and type www dot and then domain name okay you need to type this www dot okay and then only your domain name so this domain will be added to your system i accounts let's click on save let's wait for some time so now here you got some dns configuration now you need to add this to this domain okay to add it to add here simply click on manage and then make sure this name to basic dns is selected and then go to advanced dns and then scroll below so there are no record okay if there is anything other record leave it as it is and simply click on add new record okay find this bottom and click on add new record and select cname record now go here now only select this www copy it bring it at here and paste it now go here and copy this full up to the start okay just copy it bring it at here and paste it and click on this tick mark similarly click on add new record select cname record now ev copy everything before the dot this dot okay copy it and paste it at here now you can go here and copy everything okay here and paste it and click on this tick mark so now this is also saved okay once you did this much let's reload it for once yeah everything is fine now let's go here and Caught it and let's do a reload at here and you can see a domain is appearing it at here but it is saying pending validation so now uh, just copy this domain and go to dns checker dot org dns checker dot org okay and select cname at here and paste the domain at here and click on search So now as you can see here everything is green okay everything should be green if one and two is red no problem it may be uh, taking some time okay you can again come and check at here if everything is fine here then you don't need to worry okay now after a few uh, minutes or few hours your domain will be shown like ready to use okay 
now to add this kind of fab icon you firstly source on google for some fab icon with transparent png okay um with fab icon that are transparent is good okay looks good and it looks in this way okay it seems like this way in this way now you can simply click on choose file at here okay and then go to this desktop and select the fab icon that you have downloaded from google and click on open so it is as simple as this to put a fab icon now see now as you can see here is a green bottom this is my default domain okay so if you want to make this custom domain as your default domain then you, this kind of tick will appear at here simply make it green okay and it will be a default domain now whenever you create any funnel or any opt-in page any landing page and this domain will be automatically given to that page okay but if in my case this is the domain which i can change okay uh, whenever i want inside that funnel so it is your choice which domain you want to make default okay so as this much i wanted to show you in this video i think this video was helpful for you please do like this video if you have any question then ask me in the comment section and do subscribe to my channel and if you need this system i have full course that has 31 lesson everything is taught in a step by step uh, process uh, you can take it just by using my referral link that is in the description of this video by signing up to system io okay guys so this much i wanted to show you in this video take care have a great day bye bye